Thanks for being here with us. So more than 100,000 people in the United States are in need of a life-saving organ. There is such a huge need for living donors, and that is why San Diego is hosting this year's Transplant Games. It's a sporting event for people who have received an organ or they've donated one. So with me now, we've got Phil Pressel, who received a life-saving kidney, but that is just, just like a little fraction of your incredible story, Phil. First of all, thank you for being here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's first talk about the transplant games um, and what they mean for your life, and then we'll get into your story. Well, they mean a, a lot because, as you said, there are over 100,000 people who mm. need trans, uh, organ transplants from kidneys, or lungs, heart, liver, etc. And I've been a swimmer since high school, yeah. college, master's, senior Olympics, and uh, now in the transplant games. When I found out about the transplant games years ago, that they had sports like swimming, which is my, one of my sports, said I gotta participate. It should be a lot of fun and, and important. And so when I first uh, attended my transplant games in Pittsburgh in 2008, it was fantastic. I raced. In swimming, I happened to win a few medals, but I, it was so emotional to see people who have received life-saving organs competing and being there. Yeah. And I'll give you an example that I've seen several times that touched my heart, and that is a parent, a man and his wife, whose child was killed, for example, in an automobile accident have a stethoscope and are listening to the heart of their, the person who receives one of his organs or her organs. It's, it's so emotional. They're listening to their kid's own heart in somebody else's body. Oh my goodness. And I've seen that many times. It's so touching. I've seen, and then there are many other sports. Well, Phil, They're, let's talk yeah. about um, your story, because that's why you're here, because you are a transplant recipient. Um, let's let's start from the beginning. I mean, you're a double amputee, and you received a life-saving kidney. Yes, I lost my first kidney in 95 due to cancer. I was cured when that was done. And then years later, I had another traumatic medical experience. And at that time, my nephrologist, my kidney doctor, said, in about five years, you're going to lose the other kidney, so you're going to have to have a, a transplant. And I didn't know much about transplants at that time. And indeed, that exactly that is exactly what happened. My wife volunteered to uh, donate. Unfortunately, she was disqualified because mm. a blood test showed she was a leukemia carrier. So luckily, one of my wife's relatives stepped many of them many of our relatives uh, stepped up but she finally donated a kidney to me and it basically saved my life and um, my first three transplant games I had both legs mm. and I lost one leg so in Cleveland in 2016 I swam with just one leg and I did okay since then I've lost another leg and I'm still going to participate because it's important to for people to know about transplants, how important they are, and and they're, and they're fun. And you meet the most incredible people who talk about their experiences and make you feel like you're needed. I'm very um, have a very good attitude from many other experiences. I've, I've, I've experienced many uh, surgeries, tragedies. Uh, how, I'm a Holocaust survivor, but I have a good attitude, a positive attitude. I know that helped me a heck of a lot in healing and promoting the, the games. And the games include not only sports, but they, you, they have ballroom dancing, they have uh, um, um, other other yeah. events that are not uh, swimming, track, some Olympic sports, golf, tennis, but there are other, there's trivia, for example, and it's great, and you form a team. And uh, so I'm looking forward to do it this time with only, with, with two prosthetics, I, I'm gonna participate anyway. I don't think I'll do 
very well. I'm going to. No, you are. You are <laughs> going to do well. It's your attitude that's going to get you through it. It's just like what you said. I mean, some of us, um, life gives us way more than we should ever have to handle, but it's how we deal with it, right? That's right. And I, we do, we have to wrap up in a second here, but okay. I just wanted to ask, I mean, you're surrounded by all these people who have either endured something hard or someone who is so selfless that gave a, literally a piece of them to right. someone else to help them live. I mean, right. I can't even imagine the emotions that it go through. It is incredible. As I said, I've been touched by things like what I just said, yeah. a parent li listening to their kids' hearts, people hugging each other. Yeah or hugging their donor, whom they may have never met. Yeah. Hugging, thank you for giving me life. It, it's an incredible experience, and it's so important that people know about the need for transplants. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and people who um, just want to learn about being a, tra uh, you know, a donor, a living donor, can come out to these events, right? That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Phil, I could talk Thank to you, you all night long, but, you know, we have to go. Um, but I did want to say, you know, you mentioned quickly you're a Holocaust survivor. You worked in the aerospace industry. You have such quite a story. Your amazing Thank wife you. is right <laughs> off camera there keeping you in check. So we wish you the best, and I hope you have so much fun at the games. And keep smiling. Thank you very Because you're, you're really an inspiration to me and so many people out there. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I thank my wife. Yay. She, she's, you always got to thank she, the wife, Phil. Yeah. So. <laughs> Without her, I probably wouldn't be here. You're a smart man, and, and she's a lovely woman. So thank, thank you. you so much. All right.